So news just broke that the new SMG coming to Modern Warfare 2 in the Season 5 Reloaded update is called the Lockman Shroud. All we know about it is that it's one, a three round burst SMG, two, it has an integrated suppressed barrel on it, and three, the iron sights are pretty much the exact same. It kind of just looks the same, but those two main features I mentioned are kind of the standouts of the weapon. So with that being said, I actually decided to create it for myself a day before the weapon actually drops. Now, if we head to the firing range here, three round burst, you guys can see, we got the suppressor on it as well. Boom, look at that. I just created the Lockman Shrouded MW2 a day before it came out. Now, let me show you guys how you can do the same. So what you're gonna wanna do is throw on the Lockman sub. You could throw on any type of suppressor because like I said, it has an integrated suppressed barrel. Well, I just decided to separate them since that's all you kind of work with here. Uh, with the Syngard MKV muzzle, you get damage range and bullet velocity. So uh, it makes this thing so much stronger at longer ranges. We obviously have the sound suppression, which is the main part of it. I then throw in the Falcon barrel. I get movement speed, ADS speed. That just helps me be a little bit more quick and snappy with my movements. And then the rest of the attachments, it's all up to you, honestly. I did the 40 round drum because, or sorry, 40 round mag because I'm gonna be using this in the burst fire mode, which I'll show you guys how you could do here in a second. Uh, so you won't be burning through ammo as much. So you're not gonna need the 50. I have on the agent grip for better accuracy, helps me land more shots. And then the VLK laser, which just gives me aimed on sight speed, sprint to fire speed, which I find to be incredibly important. And then quickly, I'll give you guys the tunings if you guys are interested in those. I kind of did it to according to how I felt, tested it out, and it ended up working. So after you have that all locked down, go to the firing range. Right now, this is an automatic. So holding on the trigger, reload real quick, hit left on the D-pad, and as you can see, fire type went to burst mode. So now... It, might, it may look automatic, but it is now in burst mode. And just like that, you have just created the new Lockman Shroud. Now, when it comes to the gameplays, man, I, I, they're going to speak for themselves. You're going to see this build is probably better than the actual Lockman Shroud that comes out. Seriously, it's that good. But before we get to that, shout out to the Nodi Gang, man. If y'all want a notification shout out in my next upload, do me a solid by commenting down below Nodi Gang. Click the thumbs up button. And most importantly, you gotta make it to the very end of today's video. Without further ado, man, this Lockman Shroud build I just made is broken. Hey, the Lockman Shroud is him at the Hemdale, huh? I did this with the M13C. We use the attachments to turn in the M13B, and guess what? I was pretty spot on before. People got mad at me because I was doing this conversion, but. I was over here. It really works out, and look. The, the Lockman Shroud, it's a it's a burst fire Lockman with an integrated barrel suppressor. Guess what? I threw on a barrel, threw on a suppressor, turned into the burst fire mode, which you guys can see in the bottom right hand screen, and we're chilling. Look, hold on, we they just took us out, huh? We'll spawn back in, ready? Look at that. Full auto. Burst fire. Lockman Shroud activated. If you don't want to waste your time. Having to unlock it, level it up, all that nonsense. You can just throw it on like this. It works just as good. It's crazy how... That's how things work, huh? Oh, we're looking really good right now. We're going to see if we can drop a nuke with this version of the Lockman sub. Oh, my God. Are you okay? Holy cow. We are looking great. I even got a 40-round magazine on this thing. Homie has a shotgun in a corner. You're lucky I was reloading, bro. But the 40 round mag is like perfect. You might be able to get away with even like a 30 round mag because. Nice. Oh, he's up top. Yeah, you might be able to get away with a 30 because it is burst fire. And it, it kind of does just like. For the most part, it seems to be one bursting most of the time, which is kind of nice. Nice. Guys on a heady. The TTK on this is actually really good too. This is really good. For serving ammo. Oh my god. This thing, I mean, this makes it a three shot kill weapon because it it one bursts on certain occasions. Cool. Is this guy over here? He's in the corner. Oh, got him. Let me get out of there. All right, we're close to our. We're close to our advance. Oh yeah, people, yeah, like I said, people would be getting so mad at me for his life. Bro, this is clickbait, this isn't real. This is supposed to show you just how goofy Modern Warfare 2 is. Like I said, they did it with the Lockman sub, or they did it with the M13, and now they're doing it with the 
the Lachman. Like, it's the same name. It's the same weapon. You can literally throw on the same attachments. There's a way to build these weapons without actually unlocking them. That's how dumb some of these new weapons are. That's the point of these videos. So instead of being mad at me, how about you be mad at COD for adding two Lachman subs, two MP5s, the same thing? They did it with the, like I said, they did it with the M13 and bro, the M13B is infinitely better than the, yeah. M13B is infinitely better than the M13C. People are saying that the M13C is the worst weapon in, in MW2. Like, what was the point of adding it? Just for us to buy bundles with the weapon in it and whatever it may be. Like, it's just dumb. Well, I don't know how close we are to a nuke. I want to think I'm close. He is on the flag. Cool. Let's me out on real quick. I'm nervous. Hold on. Let me lock in for a little bit. The first ever Lockman tried MGB nuke. Brutal. I'm on a brutal. I'm just going to go up top. I'm glad to know what I'm on. Okay. He ran quick as hell, son. Underneath me. I hear footsteps so well right now. It's actually insane. Let me get out of there. Okay. Got him. Oh, teammate. Thank you so much for that UAV. That just made my life easier. Thank you gonna hang out here nothing maybe flank around or something mgb there it is we got it with our lockman shroud like this literally is showing you how silly this game is man you could just recreate it and boom lockman shroud yeah it may perform differently or may have like a different fire rate or different stats okay yeah i get it that's all gonna be different that's fine but the concept of the lockman shroud is what we are using and you know in some cases it might be better building it like this than actually using the lockman shroud so if you want to use the weapon with these different characteristics guess what just build it just like it did with the m13b man i put on the m13c attachments it's better than the m13c right shoot if you want the, like a different concept like this, again, just build it like this and you're fine. It's crazy because the M13C build that I built with my M13B, it's better than the actual app and the M13C. It's crazy. Let me meet these guys real quick. So yeah, don't be mad at me. Be, be mad at COD for making these stupid guns. Like I shouldn't be able to recreate the new DLC weapons very easily. And also the thing, also the iron search is the same. You guys can see on the screenshots when they announced the M3, or the Lockman Shroud, you could see that the iron search are the exact same. So it's so easy to fool someone by just doing this anyways. You can literally do this to your friends and be like, hey, yo, bro, look, I got the new Lockman Shroud early. And you can tell them to spectate you. Look at it. It's in burst fire mode. Look, I got my integrated suppressor on. It's, weapons in this game should be different and unique. That's the content that that is kind. Of, that's like the main content of, of of Call of Duty are the new weapons. This isn't even new, you know. So that's the whole point of this to show you how goofy this is. We're at 57 kills. I don't know how much how much more time we have in this game, but I, this is fun. I ain't gonna lie. Like this is. I almost called my nuke in. Let me go. This is a lot of fun. Again, it's something different. I honestly never knew that you could do burst fire on the Lockman sub. I thought it was like a single fire, kind of like you could do the ARs. Like I had no clue there was a burst fire mode on this thing. Like I probably would have tried it out before if I knew, but later on me. Or out here knocking sweats down with these rank skins. Dudes don't even stand a chance. Nice. All right, I'll go for like one more good streak, and after the streak's over, I'm gonna call my nuke in. Uh, that was a horrible nade there. I'd even try. Are these guys over here, eh? Oh, oh, there we go. Cool, UAV up. We're looking good. We'll, we'll make this one last good streak, and then we'll call the nuke in. Oh, they're all over here. Okay. Nice. I hear him behind me. Dude, for some reason, the foot. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm gonna call my new kid. We'll hop in another game with this thing. Maybe we could 
We could try to see if this burst fire weapon is any good on shipment. I love getting a game of shipment in, or we can play a different map. I honestly don't care, but I'd like to get 100. I think it'll be kind of fun. So, nice, get bodied. This is actually really good. Good recoil control. Yeah, this is insane. You shouldn't be able to recreate weapons like this in MW2. It's so stupid, bro. Just using the same name, changing a thing or two, and that's it. Look at my lock. Like I'm, my lockman shroud is going bonkers. This is the dumbest thing ever. I don't know. Justice for COD, bro. Justice for Call of Duty. Give us some actual good things in this game, bro. Season six, I don't want to see nothing like this. No new Lockmans, no new M13s. I don't want to see the cast of. Oh, shoot. 5527. It's actually really good. This is really good. This is really good. I'm going to like, seriously, I actually really, really like doing this burst fire mode thing. This is so much fun. Cool. You made any cleanups over there? It has good range on it, too. I think having the suppressor on it, like, really helps it out, though. I don't want to go over there yet. Hold on. I, I got to wait till I get my advance, because I don't know what is going on over there. Nice. My teammate got a cruise missile. Okay. I'm going to throw this ammo down. I'm running out of it. Yeah, I don't know. Something tells me I might need that 50-round drum. But yeah, or if you guys just want to prepare to, before you unlock this thing, you could also use it like this, too. I don't see nothing. No oh, name, maybe? No hits? Cool. All right, there we go. That's what I want. I want my advance really bad. Cool. We'll load real quick. I'll make try to get over there real quick. Nice. That's what I wanted. Homie's not in that corner. Nice. Oh my god, this is so good. Dude, these spawns are so bad. You can get like collaterals in two with this. Like, you are chilling, actually. No, this is so good. Oh, I, th I w threw that nade so far by accident. Oh, shoot. A grenade. Stop. I do not want to die to that. I'm close to my nuke. Nice. Reload real quick. I do not want to die. I'm so nervous. Hold on. I know I'm close to my nuke. You really can't take on that many people at once. Down real quick. He may help me out of here a little bit. Thank you. MGB, I got it. Oh my god, that clutch. Holy clutch. That was so good. That was incredible. Nice. This is awesome. Oh no! Dude, it, you you really can't take on many gunfights at once. You really can't. Nice. Dummy. I, you know, I ain't gonna lie. There might be like a good hip fire build for this. Like, I, I really enjoy the hip fire on this thing. It's actually pretty good. I don't know, man. Let me know if you guys are gonna try stuff for yourselves or not. Cause again, this is just something fun and different. That is, it, it's funny that it's actually coming to the game. Cause I know some people be mad at this concept. It just like they were with the M13 um, C idea. Bro, this, wow, clickbait, really, bro? It's not even clickbait, because essentially it's the exact same thing. And like I said, this is pro this version of it might be better than the actual Lockman Shroud itself, but we'll see, because I'm, I'll do a comparison between the two weapons when they both come out. We're going to see which one's better, Lockman Sub or the Lockman Shroud. At base, though, I bet the Lockman Sub probably just has better stats in general. I run another new streak, which I'll be surprised. I can't wait to compare this gameplay to the other one I get with the actual Lockman Shroud. I just don't see the Lockman Shroud being better than this. I don't know. I would hope maybe the Lockman. Oh my 
Yeah. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No wonder. Maybe the Lockman Shroud will have like a... That'd be cool if it had a fire rate attachment where you could spray it a little bit more. But then at that point, shouldn't it just be automatic? I, I don't even know, bro. I don't know. Nice amount of brutal. Oh, we are frying. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable with this thing now. That first game we played, I, th I think I just had to warm up to it a little bit. It's just so weird not using it in full auto. This. Nice, there's another nuke. We just got two nukes in one game and we need 22 kills for 100, which should be pretty easy. I got the movement on this is also really good. You could uh, the, the, the maneuver. I love it a lot. All right, 20 more kills for 100. That was our goal was to get 100, which I think I, I'll easily be able to do. Nice. The TTK just feels different too. I don't know. It feels like it kills a little bit more quicker than it being automatic. Nice. We are looking phenomenal. 87 kills. Let me call this UAV in. Time's running out. We are just triple capping the hell out of these guys. Nice. No one else. Cool. Well, I got more streaks. Ooh, wait. No way. I, I'm not getting another nuke, right? A third nuke? That's kind of crazy. I'm going to try to push up a little bit. Uh, this is possible. I could get a third nuke. Call that in real quick, too. I mean... Oh, get me out of there. I do not like that. Possibilities there. I can do it. Teammate in the corner next to you. Cool. I'm just going to get out of there. Go to this side again. Okay, they're all spawning. Oh, wait. It's on my... Nice, teammate. Cool. We're triple capping. Oh my god, if I get a third nuke. This is looking possible. I gotta keep moving, though. Time's running out. 20 points left in the game. Come on, can I do this? Oh, dude, everyone... I... Uh... Oh my god. Full 80. I'm gonna have to move around a little bit more if I want to do this. Brutal, I need five kills. I'm gonna call my nuke in. Okay, five kills, here we go. One. Two. No! Bro, I was three kills off of a triple. This match was ridiculous. Two nukes in one game, 118 kills with our Lockman Shroud dude.